Administering the file system. This section is a collection of topics that provides for the need to administer the CentOS 7 file system. From creating virtual block devices to formatting and mounting disks over maintaining your file system and disk quotas to extending a logical volume, the purpose of this section is to show you how quickly and easily you can get to grips with the task of managing the needs of its users in today's most demanding environments. Creating a virtual block device. In this video we will create a virtual block device that we will use to simulate real devices and partitions so that we can test drive concepts and commands used in all later videos in this section. Working with real disks and partitions often involves the risk of losing important data or even having to reinstall your complete system. A virtual block device is ideal to learn the techniques and try things out before switching to production mode. Later, if you have gained enough experience and feel safe, you can easily replace it with real hardware devices, partitions and logical volumes. All you need to do is substitute your virtual block device name with real hardware disk device names in the commands you use. Before we start, we need to define some important terms. A block device is any device on your system that allows reading or writing data in blocks. Examples are typical hard disks, SSDs or attachable USB drives. In this video, we will use the lsbulk command to print infos about all block devices attached to the system. A loop device is just a pseudo device that makes it possible to use a file as a block device. A partition table is a table maintained on a disk by the operating system describing the partitions on it and it must be created before we can create the actual partitions. We use the partition table type GPT but you can also use the old MS-DOS type here instead. Here follows the demonstration. To begin, create an empty file with the exact size of 1 GB using the dd command. We use the input device dev0 for creating an empty file. The output file will be our slash term slash test image dot dd file. And the block size of 1 MB will be repeated 1000 times which equals 1 GB. Next, let's create a loop device from the file we have just created. Let's recheck that we have successfully generated a new loop device by typing lo setup minus a. As this will be the first loop device created in the current system, the output will be as follows. This reads as the loop device zero is mapped to the file slash temp slash test minus image dot dd. Please note that the loop zero name can be a different number if you have created a loop device before. To get a list of all the block devices currently attached to the system as well as important details, type the following lsbulk command. After we have created our first loop device, let's now create a new partition table on our new loop device. There are multiple types of partition tables available on Linux. For example, the old MS-DOS partition table or the newer GPT partition table, which we will use in this example. Finally, create device maps from our loop device to make it more similar to real hardware disk partitions using the kpartx command. If you later want to remove a virtual block device, you can use lo setups minus d flag. Please note that you cannot remove a virtual block device if it's currently mounted, which we will do in the next video. So if it's currently mounted, you first have to unmount it and then you can deattach it. Afterwards you can also delete the block file if you don't want it anymore using the rm command.